Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we will discuss about one more data structure in R programming arrays. So in our previous sessions we have uh, discussed about uh, a few more data structures like vector, matrix, etc. So now we will see what is an array, how to create an array in R programming and how we can access the elements of an array. Right Now the creation of array. So here arrays are categorized into a single dimension and multi dimension multi dimension right so we'll see both the cases how we can create a single dimensional array and multi dimensional array so first one single dimension array and we can create this single dimension array by using array function array function right so the syntax is array of give the data which we want to convert into array right so let me uh, create by in the r studio so i'll open the r studio and i'll demonstrate the creation of single dimension array so here we are not giving any dimensions only one parameter that is the data okay now see i'll take some uh, data like in terms of vector some a is equal to vector c function 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 and pass this data as a parameter to array function so so i'll take it as array is equal to array function of a so you can check the data type here so in order to check the data type we have to use a class function so let me check so you can see the class of arr data type i mean arr variable is array right now if you print this one if you print this one so you can get the complete elements of array so this is a single dimension array single dimension array creation of single dimension array similarly multi dimension array how to create the multi dimension array so here also we are going to use a array function but with the three parameters with three parameters so what is the three parameters the first one is data which can be a vector and the second one oh sorry two parameters okay two parameters and second one is a dimension we need to mention the dimension with rows columns and dimensions that means number of arrays how many number of arrays we want to create okay so here i'll write with one parameter so the one parameter is nothing but data okay data now we'll see the syntax of uh, creating multi dimension so syntax so what we have done array the first parameter is data and the second parameter is dim dimension is equal to and we have to pass all the three parameters that means the rows number of columns and the number of dimensions in terms of vector so c function so number of rows number of columns number of arrays that we simply we call it as a dimension so this is a simple syntax in order to create a multi dimension array multi dimension array now let us uh, execute here let us take uh, six sixty so six elements i am taking i am creating an array so n is equal to let it be n is equal to array array function give pass the parameter here first one data that is the a second one is a dimension in terms of vector number of rows so 60 that means six elements we are giving 
Either we have to take a 2 by 3 array or a 3 by 2 array or a 6 by 1 or 1 by 6. Right? So that means the maximum number of elements that array can hold is a 6. So what are the combinations if you uh, uh, we have to consider if there are a maximum number of 6 elements. So it can be 2 rows and 3 columns which will give 6 elements and it may be 3, three rows and 2 columns again which will give the 6 elements and one row with six columns or six rows with one column. So I'll take two by three. So number of rows two, number of columns three and only one array. Okay. And simply I'll, I'll print n and you can see, see, two rows and a three columns. So the first one will be the rows, the second one will be the columns and the third one will be the number of arrays. And see, you can see, you can observe, print n, I am getting only one array because we have given one. And if you give two here and observe, you will get a two different arrays, two different arrays, even though it is having the same name, even though it is having the same name, uh, same number of elements, same elements, two arrays will be created. For example, consider here, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110 and 120. So, total 12 elements are there. So, 12 elements, the combinations we can get 3 by 4, 4 by 3, 2 by 6, 6 by 2, 1 by 12, 12 by 1. And also, we can have 2 by 2 in 3 arrays. So, 2 by 2 means 4 elements will be there. So, 3 arrays. So, 3 4s are 12. So, let us check here. So, 2, 2 and 3. So this implies it will create three different arrays with a two by two elements, two rows and two columns, right? See, you can observe here, print. See, the first array, it consists of 10, 20, 30, 40. And second array, 50, 60, 70, 80. And third array, 90, 110, 100 and 120. So this happens here. And if you give only one array with a 2 by 2, it will consider only first four elements from the given data, you can observe. So 10, 20, 30, 40. So only four elements will be taken from the given data. So like this, we can create an array with a single dimension or multi-dimension. Right? So the next one is accessing. How can we access the elements? accessing elements of array so if it is a single element if it is a single element we have to give array followed by the subscript and give the index value single element if you want to access the single element for example you can consider here uh, let us take some three arrays right yes so if you want to access the elements print n of 1 so it will access only one element i mean first so here array means it consists of multiple elements so the index value will be starting from 1 so it, it gives the index value okay so if you give a 12 you will get uh, the index of 12th i mean the element of in 12th index Okay, and if you give 2, 3, 1, see, subscript out of bow. So, because each and every array size is 2 by 2. So, now you can see 2, 2 by 2, 1. So, you will get a 40 because the first array, first array is this one. So, 2, second row, second column element, second row, second column element, it is a 40 from the first array. So, you get a 40. If you go with here 2, the, L, the second row, second element of second array will be displayed. So, this is the second array. You can observe here, right? So, 80. And if you go with 3, the second, the second row, second column of third index, I mean third array. So, like this, we can access the elements from a multi-dimensional array or the single dimensional array. Single, if it is single dimensional array, simply you can give a single index. If you give the single index, you will get a single dimension array, the element from the single dimension array. Now, 
the question is if you want to access single row the complete row then go with the array function and give the list of list of a number of rows the row number in the c function as a vector right so i'll give one and give the entire uh, row so just leave alone the column from the first array okay so here you need to give the row number and here array number array number okay see for example you can consider here the c of one entire row and from second array you can get it 50 70 what is the second one 50 70 so first row 50 70 will be displayed from the second array and if you go with the two what happens here it will display 60 80 it will display 60 80 okay and if it is one you can observe from the second row only one element the first index okay the first index and here you need to give the index element index okay element index element index and if you are not giving the element index uh, so this is a single row complete row so you need to give an empty okay you need to give an empty why if if we want to access the complete column quite opposite so complete column and leave the row space as a blank and give the vector in column place see first one space the row entire row and second column or first column and the next one is an array number for example you can consider this one so m of c of 1 2 sorry yes and you can see the first we have left blank that means complete row okay and this is a complete first column and from the second matrix and you can observe 50 60 what is a 50 60 so this is a first column first column all the rows okay and if you go with the two you will get second column and you can also pass a multiple columns let it be two comma one you will get both the elements so two comma one okay so first column and second column from the second and if you give the change the array number from the third array you will get the elements okay so this is how we can access the elements from the array from a single dimension or multi dimension so we can access the single element or we can access the complete rows and we can access the complete columns so if you pass a single number inside the vector so it will consider it as a complete row only a single row and if you would mention two or more row numbers in the vector so it will consider the multiple rows and it is will display and the third parameter will be the array number from which array it have to access the elements right so hope you understood this uh, simple concept the creation of uh, single dimension array multi dimension array and accessing the elements from the single dimension array multi dimensional array uh, accessing the single element accessing the rows accessing the columns so let's stop here and if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, uh, session feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much